everyone welcome to the daily stock forecast as always let's go over the markets here and I want to start with the SPY as you can see this morning the SPY traded lower we pierced the, the double bottom from uh, from Monday and after that we saw a pretty big reversal in this market back to the highs from Monday where the markets uh, find uh, resistance and then we saw a pretty sharp sell-off near uh, near the end. Now what was the reason for this? It was based of uh, JP Morgan as you can see this intraday chart it's pretty much the same as the SPY so we got the the big down move then the big up move and then the rollover and also Goldman Sachs so the financials were pretty weak this today now first I want to go over uh, Facebook here the daily Facebook chart As you can see on this daily chart, we made a, a very nice stopping tail. If you are looking to uh, take a retrace for a short, look for an entry around 49. Your stop out on this play will be around uh, 51.60. On the downside, first support on Facebook will be around here. The first one will be this gap fill, it will be a minor level. And I'm looking at this level as my first big support on Facebook, the 45.53. There I will cover my first half position and then I'm looking for a fall into this 43.42 uh, area. Okay guys, let's go over some uh, other uh, swing shorts that I still have. First things first here, ExxonMobil, as you can see we made this uh, nice flag pattern on ExxonMobil I covered this last week in my video now I'm looking for uh, to take my first profits tomorrow on this play if we are gapping down in this area the 86 and 99 and I'm still looking for this area as uh, my second support level the 85 even number alright BA yesterday I covered my first half BA at the 116 and today I stopped out flat on my second half of uh, the BA short I'm still riding SLB short from uh, the retrace of the topping tail on Friday I'm still looking for uh, a fall into the 20 moving average to take my second uh, half of my profits and then the last one Visa, I'm still holding Visa short and I'm looking for uh, an exit of my first target uh, on a Pierce of 190 in the coming week okay guys let's go over some scalping levels for tomorrow I want to start with JP Morgan now the first things first here JP Morgan got a, a big head and shoulders pattern here on the daily chart so as you can see the left shoulder the head And now we have uh, we made the right shoulder here. We're just kissing the neckline here. There's also support here with the 200 moving average in this uh, prior pivot low. If you can break this area or see a a gap below it, first big resist uh, support that I see on the downside will be 46.50, and then we have a gap fill around 44. So if you're looking to take a, a swing short position. First look for a, a close below this neckline and your stop loss on this play will be any close back above this neckline this will be your stop out. Now let's find some uh, support areas intraday here for tomorrow. First I want to start with the, with the resistance. The first level for a short will be this uh, gap fill at 51.45 and this will be my second level 51.83 and then double top with the 200 moving average around 53, uh, 52 37 now on the downside first support that I see will be the peers of the $50 even number we also got a pivot low right here at the $50.12 but I'm looking for a peers of this 50, uh, 50 even number and then another big level on the downside will 
will be this area at 4941 and then 4871 and the last chart here will be Goldman Sachs first support on the downside will be this gap window at 162.54 then we have this pivot high at 160.66 it will go in together with the 200 moving average and then we have this gap fill at 159.50 now on the upside for resistance the first level that I see for a, a scalp short will be the 200 moving average going together with this pivot at uh, 166.32 and then it will be this double top at uh, 168.50 and then it will be this high at 169.97 okay guys as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to one of our channels and i see you all tomorrow for a new update